Hello, this is David Burton. I'm going to be doing a little introductory piece here about spin disc art, uh, a little display that I'm working on for what we call lawn, which is lawn art with neighbors. And the idea is to promote and encourage public sculpture, public works of art, and especially if you can put those together with your neighbors. And I've got something in progress. Several neighbors have already done their works of art. As you can see here, the idea is to paint these discs and install them on a cedar fence, the planks. And so it demonstrates that our neighborhood is comprised of unique individuals. I wanted to do just a quick primer on how these spin discs are created. This is uh, to help my neighbors that are coming over in a few weeks to work on the final pieces, but I've had a lot of questions from other people about how these are done, so uh, this might help with that. Um, this is one of the early samples uh, that I did early on when I was experimenting. This is scrap wood that I had from uh, another project. It is coated uh, in a, uh, a white material, so the paint runs off of it real easily. And there was kind of a learning process on this. Uh, so, uh, some of the early ones were not as covered, and I think this one could be uh, better, so I'm going to use it as part of my uh, demonstration here today. Um, so really all you need is some acrylic paint and a uh, power screwdriver. Uh, I've been using uh, bolts through the backs of these that then fasten, fasten in the power screwdriver to spin and fling the paint. Uh, across the board and every pattern is different every design is different depending kind of on how you put on the paint and then of course how uh, the speed at which you rotate it and things I've also got a, a box set up that I spin the spin them in and I learned early on to put a little plastic cover over here so the uh, paint doesn't spin out uh, on my shirt <laughs> uh, it's one of the lessons you learn from experience and then uh, on the particular display I'm doing, I'm having uh, neighbors autograph the back of the piece. Again, several neighbors that have done this already. Uh, pretty much determined that doing three different colors uh, works best. Uh, and best you can, you don't wanna just glob it on. You want to kind of uh, spread the color out and I'll show you what that looks like. As best you can with this acrylic paint, it's, uh, Best to do a stream uh, across. As in my experience, you can get it a little too glumpy and then you just kind of have a mess, but uh, kind of temperature impacts that a little bit. And, uh, but we'll get plenty on here. And again, uh, it's best to pick three different colors. Uh, Contrasting colors uh, as best you can. Again, th three different colors is my experience on what works best and going at alternate patterns and as best you can avoiding the glob on. It's tempting to do globs. I've had people do patterns and things and it just doesn't um, come out as well on the finished product. Um, and then putting on a little black. I'm using a gold and a, a gray, silver, and then some black, sort of going with the uh, Mizzou colors as best I can here. Now see, this is kind of glumping on me, maybe because of the temperature of the paint Hard to tell, but we'll, uh, we'll give that a, uh, a try here in just a moment. The best thing about this is if it comes out, finished product, and you don't like it, <laughs> you can uh, do it over. You can add some more somewhere. Uh, there are no rules, and the uh, part of the fun is having something that you didn't really plan for. And imagine and having it come out looking very unique. Every every one of these is unique. 
every pattern is uh, different, and that, that's just like uh, people in your neighborhood, all sorts of different uh, backgrounds. So there's the paint product, and I'll sh get this put on our screwdriver and be ready to go. All right, so here we go, balancing this on my power screwdriver as best I can, and uh, we'll give it a good spin. I don't know that I've timed it out. I mean, you want you want to spin it long enough that it. Uh, that is able to throw all the excess paint off. Uh, you want it spinning as much as possible and uh, tighten this up on the drill bit as much as I can. And again, uh, I've got a cover over this, so I'm gonna stick this in here, we'll run it, and I'll try and hold this at an angle so maybe you can see a little bit of it, what it's like, and uh, then we'll see the final product. So here we go. let you see what it looks like before I before I look oh so the gold really took over on that didn't it uh, and I kind of wanted more in the middle so I'm gonna add a little more to this and we'll do it again I wanted uh, a little more gray pronounced and I'm gonna put that through there A little gold in the middle to spin or spin out and some black wow um, again it's uh, we, we make up the rules as we go along here nothing it says you can't uh, redo this the thinner the paint or the slicker the surface uh, the more coverage you're gonna get I have seen that and uh, warmer temperatures help too uh, it's pretty cold here this evening, and uh, so I know that's impacting uh, how much this paint gets slung around. Okay, so that's all tightened up now. You know, this is, uh, this is real life. Uh, this is what my uh, neighbors have all experienced when they've come over to do this live and in person. We have uh, redos, and we have... Uh, Situations that work out as planned. I've tried other pieces of material too. I have some smaller squares. I've tried some uh, hearts, which I thought kind of fit with the theme of the the uh, neighborhood. This is a slick wood, but then the paint will move off of it. But it definitely needs two coats uh, when you're doing an odd shape like that to get everything. Uh, but that's part of the fun. And so let's give this another spin. Another try, I think it's on there tight, and we'll get going here. Okay, let's see what we got here now. All right. That has spread out even more. I kind of like that. I'm kind of particular about some of this. I don't know if I've got too much gray. I still got some white coverage in there, but I really like the way these uh, colors have blended together. And that's just, uh, and that's part of the fun of doing uh, spin art and the unique patterns that you can come up with. You can use any sort of material. Again, different shapes of wood. Uh, I've used some canvas. Uh, a bolt on and spinning that spreads in a little different way but it's also uh, fun and so that's what we're going to be doing for the neighborhood all right thanks for joining in on the demonstration